First things first, I'm going to start with a few add-ons that will help you for tanking. Um, ones I use are details, which is just a damage meter, helps me look at top DPS, and you can also split it to make another window for healing. Um, DBM, just a must-have, lets you know the rotation of cooldowns on the boss, um, you know, when you should taunt, taunt off, stuff like that, just really helpful overall. Another one is weak auras. You don't really have to use it, but it shows you the cooldowns of uh, a lot of um, abilities that you need to be looking out for, and it's very helpful. So the first step to tanking is obviously knowing how the boss fight works. If you don't know how the boss fight works, then you're not really going to know what you're doing at all. Um, you could look up videos on how a certain boss fight works. Um, Every fight changes with difficulty, so heroic fights vary from normal fights, and mythic fights vary tremendously, are tremendously different. The second step would be knowing your class's weaknesses and strengths. This will help during fights, because if you know your class fully, and you know everything that your class can do or can't do, you'll know what to expect from certain mechanics. Also, watching your position during the fight at all times is vital because if you're not in the right spot at the right time or you're in the right spot at the wrong time or vice versa, you know, any, any which way, um, it could hurt the other tank, it could hurt other DPS or healers, it could just really not be beneficial to anyone. The third step would be knowing the rotations of your cooldowns. Um, there's a lot of mechanics in boss fights that are just, you know, retained throughout every boss and it's just like he has a high damaging ability and you have to know how to negate that damage to survive. Um, kind of like with Agrimar with his um, Tasha Latch or however you say that technique phase where you know, there's two foe breakers and they do around 20 million damage and you can't survive that with, you know, a health bar of around 10 million, I'm guessing. So you have to know how to negate that because there's multiple times that it um, happens. So this is when weak, weak auras comes into play. It'll help you monitor those CDs. And even if you don't have it, you can still just watch your bar and just know when they're going to come up or you know when they're down and when you need to use different ones and stuff like that. The fourth step is being able to adapt to situations that happen during the fight. Like if the other tank dies you have to know like how to survive still or like how to survive as long as possible until he gets rezzed or stuff like that or you know if you just didn't account for certain things happening you know or you're not getting enough healing you have to know how to deal with that kind of stuff and not just panic and you know die and mess it up for everyone else in the raid the fifth step would be communication as a tank, it's vital for you to communicate either to the other tank or to the entire rest of the raid group. Um, you know, important stuff for them to know or important stuff for the other tank to know or to watch out for. And it can really make or break you and the rest of your group beating that boss or not. Remember to subscribe and hit the bell to be the first to know when we post new videos. Uh, remember to leave a comment down below, uh, recommend video ideas for us to do, or just leave your thoughts on the video.